In this video I'm going to show you one way to go about setting up a form for a C++ program in the new Visual Studio 2017 which has frustratingly been left out. Okay, what you do is go up to like File, New Project and then you know in v Visual C++ you'll see uh, this CLR directory. We'll choose that, okay, and select a uh, CLR empty project, okay, and then choose your directory, um, and then give your project a name, I call mine Lotto 1, and hit OK. Okay, and this will basically create a blank project. Now go up to your project name and select properties. You know, which you can do that with the uh, right mouse click menu that pops up if you wish. Um, but go into the linker section like you see here and go start by going into system and then the subsystem dialog box right up here. This will be a little drop down and choose windows subsystems uh, windows okay and then go into the advanced tab and then your entry point hit main <clears throat> but I suppose you can name your function whatever you want but main's traditional in C++ and hit OK and then go over to your project and right click on the project name and um, go into add new item Visual C++ go into the UI or user interface and click Windows Form Object and you can name it um, whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it my form by default. Okay, and add that to the project. It'll give you this error, but ignore that. It's no big deal, so just go ahead and close it. Um, and then go and click on your My Form Object. Okay, that brings you up to this but that's the uh, header file so click on myform.cpp that brings you to this there's nothing in here except an include for the myform header that you saw before um, copy and paste this code into it um, and I will put a copy of this code down below but you'll have to edit your project name and your form name if you've named it something different um, than what you see here um, you know, um, so I call it I call the project Lotto, and you can see it popping up in IntelliSense there. So Lotto one, and then it's my form. You know, because I did name my form my form. So if you named your form something different, you'll have to enter something different there. But since I named it my form, which is default, um, you know, that's the only thing I had to edit. But I will. Uh, paste this snippet in the text down below the video that you're watching right now. At any rate, at this point, you can go ahead and run the project because you got your form in it. And it'll compile OK. Um, as you see here. So, you can just click that and, go, and close it. But, you still can't get your forms uh, designer. Uh, so what you got to do is hit save. You know, save everything. Close your project. Oops. Uh, yeah, close your project right here. Okay, and then just open it back up. Okay, when you do that, when you go click on the header file and whatnot, you can see the icon has changed. Well, then your form pops up. And so, you know, you can take that loose and like I like to do because I don't like this inline editing. I like having my form separate. But um, you can take that loose. Get yourself a better friggin mouse than I have. Um, but at any rate, you know, you got your form available here so you, you can, you know, add your typical buttons to it and check boxes and all that stuff and you know, edit the properties down here. So I have to resize things and 
so forth, but, uh, so. So anyway, that's pretty much all there is to it. And um, let me go ahead and run it like that. And uh, then you got your little control. So anyway, that's how to add a, a form to this, uh, a visual C++ project.